Are we going to start listening to black women the first time now? Y'all already know what time it is. I got the black beat back on. Call me Negro Domus, the king of reads. Welcome, thank you all so much for celebrating with me my 100,000 subscriber mark on the YouTube channel, King of Reads, I appreciate you all. The news has been hitting, it's been going everywhere. Lee Daniels been called out and Tyler Perry in the same week. There must be a guy and they must be black. I told you all, I told you, I appreciate everybody who tagged me and said, you know what, Justin, you said it, you said it. Girl, how many times, how many times I'm gonna sit around about the same things? How many times are y'all not gonna listen to me? Tell y'all that y'all need to listen to black women the first time. I told you all, and some folks didn't wanna listen to Monique for some reasons that I shared with you all. So, you can go ahead and eat the shit or whatever pies and stuff that we cooking today. As you all know, some secret recordings have been released, some tapes. Uh, audio of Monique and Sydney, her manager slash husband, whatever he is this week, talking to Tyler Perry, and Tyler Perry basically admitted that all the things that have happened to Monique were wrong. They were wrong, and that Monique is the black Oprah. Now, some people shared with me and said that he was probably saying that Monique was the black Oprah, saying that she is the nigga version, like she's oh, oh, the ghetto. The ghetto, the ghetto. And I thought Tyler Perry is probably saying that she is the black version of Oprah. Um, and just like Oprah isn't necessarily black. She's black in certain spaces and certain places. Until somebody tells her that she's black and she can't afford the purses and dresses and stuff in this um, store. Um, then she knows she's black again. Let me tell you, some of my politics might offend you all, but that's okay. We're all here to learn. Um, I knew that something was coming. I just felt in my spirit that Monique was doing something and she was shaking the table and she had some shit. She had a cake that she had been baking for a minute. And she said, you know what, as a good black woman knows, I got to make sure that this stuff is cooling down so I can serve it at the right time. So Monique been had these recorded. She could have been released them, but she did them at the right opportune time for her. At the same week that Lee Dance get ran up on about them $2 million, girl, where is it at? So um, listening to the audio, um, Tyler Perry and just was... Being Tyler Perry. Where is Madea? Because Madea is that real woman. She's real as fuck and she gonna keep it real. This Tyler Perry going on, this is a business, this is a billionaire, and he ain't seeing what we going through. And that's exactly, I'm glad they put, when I tell you Sidney had his foot on Tyler Perry's neck, oh my God, he had his foot on Tyler Perry's neck. Now I think some people don't like Sidney because of his uncle type of vibe that he's giving us like the, like the uncle that has been through some shit, who has seen it, who was kind of the first quote unquote aware quote unquote woke person several years before he even happened. He like, girl, I experienced, I used to be in the factory with these white folks, they don't care. Like he's seen the system, so some of the stuff he's saying, his antics might be different from what we hear, but it, it's still the truth he just says in his own form. Sort of like what I do sometimes. Sydney was holding Tyler Perry accountable. Monique kind of stepped back a little bit and she, you know, chimed in when she needed to and she said her piece and things, but Sydney is Monique's manager. I don't give a damn. People can say, well, the manager should be man managing um, the husband and all that type of stuff. We shouldn't be doing that. And y'all see the same thing. Like, we see good and bad on, on both situations when that happen. When a mother is managing their child with a, um, you know, a husband or something is managing their wife, something like that, or two husbands. Like, it, it's, it's stuff like that. It can happen. It can turn out bad and it cannot. But I think Sydney means Monique well. I think that he really cares about her. Um, I think some people seem to think that um, Sydney is trying to get Monique's money. Um, because you know Monique is a fat black woman and, and Sydney is a slim guy. So there's automatically seen that, oh Sydney should be talking to her. He must be wanting something else. And we got to kind of we got to unpack that. We got to let this stuff go. We have to uh, we have to unlearn that type of behavior and that shit that we see when we talk about situations like this. I think Sydney really does care about his wife. But like I said, I think people have their uh, concern about Sydney. Um, and it's not necessarily, I don't think it's genuine at all. But I'm glad that Sydney had his foot on Tyler Perry's neck. I am so glad. Let me tell y'all something, girl, because let me tell you. Whatever you want to call these three individuals who are not necessarily here for black folks, uh, the betterment, I, I just, 
I am not feeling Oprah, I'm not feeling Tyler Perry, and I'm damn sure I'm not feeling Lee Daniels. I think they collectively did this black woman wrong, and they know they did it wrong, but they know that white folks ain't gonna hold them accountable for that shit. They're not gonna lose any coin for this, so they're gonna still continue to go on. That's why you got Oprah right here talking about some damn the light and darkness. That's why that goddamn movie flopped. Nobody wanted to see your ass, Oprah. As much power that you gave and behind that movie, nobody was interested in a wrinkling. <laughs> I ain't gonna call it that, but I'm trying to do better with my life a little bit, but I'm not here for Oprah, and I knew Lily Daniels was full of shit. Oh, let's get to that. I know I'm gonna be all over the place, because this is gonna be me just celebrating all their asses getting dragged the same week, and I'm waiting on Oprah to get hers, too. But Lee Daniels, girl, Miss Dame Dash ran up at you and said, bitch, what about $2 million? And it was so funny, because it was like a church celebration, I think. Who was performing? I can't think of who the woman was performing, girl. And they said, reach out and touch your neighbor. And touch the nigga who owe you some money, okay? Dame Dad stepped up to Lee Daniels like a man and said, look, bruh, where my money? I've been trying to get in contact with you. Girl, when I tell you this, <laughs> Lee Daniels was standing right there like somebody had just told him. Lee Daniels stood there. And let me tell you something. When somebody is telling you a lie and you know they you you're going to be like, bro, what is you talking about, bro? Are you okay? Lee Daniels didn't look at him like that. Lee Daniels like, damn, this nigga really calling me out in the middle of all these folks. Yes, Lee Daniels, I'm glad your ass got called out. Now, that whole, I'm kind of confused. Dame Daniels didn't loan, you know, Lee Daniels $2 million for the Precious movie or whatever, trying to help him out, and he ain't returned this money. Now, Dame Daniels had a lawsuit with um, Lee Daniels and they settled out of court. But girl, apparently the coins ain't been paid. And Dame Dash like, bro, I want some more money. What is you doing? You probably be paying me on time. Imagine Capital One, Bank of America, and Citibank, and um, American Express have a Twitter account. They're gonna tweet folks who owe money. Like, girl, I see you at this event, but bitch, you need to be paying us for the least the minimum payment of twenty dollars. Girl, I had to write three bad checks. <laughs> <laughs> to pay, who was that girl? I can't think of the phone now, Capital One. Girl, they said, girl, we didn't took this shit out three times. Where is these $30? I ain't got it. I have five bills that I do, and I only have enough to pay one minimum payment. Who am I going to pay? Girl, I don't know, sis. But Lee Daniels got called out, Dame Dash called him out, and Lee Daniels just looked confused. He looked confused. So what does that tell us? What does it have to do with Monique? It gives us a peek into Lee Daniels and how he is as a person. Lee Daniels has borrowed money from this black man, Dame Dash, to build what he has now and has not paid him back. So that makes Lee Daniels not a genuine person, which hurts his credibility. How can we take him serious when he's sitting here, got the money, he's had projects to bring him in revenue to pay Dame Dash back. He just does not want to. So this goes along with other things that Lee Daniels has said. Can we take him serious? Some of y'all will be head ass, especially Charlamagne. Lenard, you didn't even let Monique even, you just, you had your foot on her neck and somebody had their foot on your damn neck. And it's, it's Carmen, she coming back to get your ass soon too. See, when you do clownery, the clown comes back to bite. Because you did not allow this black woman to, you know, express, you said you didn't believe it, all this type of stuff. I, and I feel like, Honestly, and I know some people are not going to like this, and I really don't care. I think that when we look at Monique, uh, some of us see her as a fat black woman, and she's dark-skinned, and we're just not interested in her talking about You should be grateful for whatever the fuck they're giving you. You should be good. And I'm glad that me and some other people are coming together to talk about desirability, because I feel like we need to learn this. We need to unlearn some of the things that we do when we treat people, how we look at folks, how we see a person who is wheelchair-bound, how we see a person that looks like a certain way, and we don't want to help them. We don't want to feel nothing for them. And that's not all of us. That's not all of us. Some of us do it and we do it um, subconsciously. We, we don't know that we're doing it, but we are doing it and we have got to fix that. So the way we look at Monique is like, damn, she's a loud black woman. She needs to shut the hell up versus Viola Davis. Viola Davis is not seen as ghetto as hell. She's not seen that. And me and my friend had a conversation about that last night. Deshaun Harrison. I love him. Y'all make sure you check out his website, DeshaunHarrison.com. We had a whole conversation about that and how people see uh, Viola Davis versus we see Monique. Monique. Monique is the loud black woman. She's unapologetically black or whatever you want to call it. And she's going to say what she want to say. But the moment they're saying some stuff that we probably don't agree with, we like, oh, girl, we ain't trying to hear all that shit. And we do that. We do that. And I feel like nobody wanted to take Monique serious. Now, I do think the, the whole Netflix stuff was kind of, you know, I think that was a little extra. Uh, I was like, girl, I don't know, sis. But I think if it was somebody else, depending on the situation, we ha would have, uh, you know, probably listened to a little bit more. But we just turned Monique into a meme. We just did that automatically. Like, oh, girl, fuck your pain. Let's laugh at it. But if you had listened to black women the first time, and this is when I say this, this is the campaign I'm on. Listen to black women. I'm not saying 
that, you know, oh, you need to listen to them all the time. I know some of y'all gonna say, well, they be lying, they be lying. Y'all be so quick to show y'all, ooh, true colors. When I say listen to black women, I mean give them the benefit of the doubt that you do not normally give them. That's what we mean when we say listen to black women because you're already coming in with these preconceived notions, the stuff that you've been taught from society and everything. So when you're talking, so when a black woman is speaking, you already looking at her in a different eye versus you looking at other folks and listening to them. Listen to this black woman, listen to her speak, listen to what she has to say and understand. Listen to understand, don't listen to a respond. Because I think that's a lot of us what we do and we don't want to listen. We just don't truly want to hear that shit. But if we had gave Monique the benefit of the doubt and listened to her the first time and said, you know what Monique, let's see what's going on. But we automatically want to put Monique in this unprofessional box and like Oprah does no wrong. Oprah does wrong. Trust me. She means good in some shit but you know Oprah does assimilate to white whiteness. I mean come on let's, let, let's be serious. The, the fucking own channel wasn't doing that good when she had all that white shit. The white women didn't leave uh, that, uh, her show and come to own. They weren't interested in this shit. They said oh girl we got Dr. Phil. Listen y'all I'm telling you now Oprah said you know what we gotta get this shit together. That's why he got. That's why she got Tyler Perry to make these Damn shows, Kate around black. Oh, okay, then this shit does work because black folks were watching Oprah, but white folks were loving the fuck out of her and supporting her. You know, sometimes they be like, you know what, you, I understand how I love how she, I love, I love it. We kind of gravitate and suck so much energy from fat, dark skinned people. And I'm going to be out there. Like, I know folks automatically see me as a therapist. They don't see me as someone, a sexual being or attractive or this and that. And I say everybody because people do. But a lot of folks give me, they, they throw stuff on me um, because they don't see me as a human. They don't see me as they see me some, as somebody that they can use. Like, I don't see them sexually, but I see, you know, I can talk to them and they listen and all of this, but I just don't see them sexually. And we do that. Even I do that shit too. And we got to talk about it. I can't wait till we, I cannot wait till we get into that conversation on the end of Miller Girl. I'm telling you, I'm working on some content. Y'all better tell these to keep up. Because over here on kickandreads.com, we ain't out here talking about trending topics, bitch. We out here talking about real life shit. We not out here talking about pop culture 24-7. We out here giving it to you all and educating and we moving on. Girl, y'all better keep up because I'm bringing some shit to y'all ass. I ain't at 100K for no reason. These folks really believe in the mission and the stuff that I'm doing and I appreciate y'all so much. Y'all do not understand. Y'all have pushed me to greatness and I cannot wait to keep showing y'all other stuff and I can't wait till y'all keep putting y'all foot on my neck and say, Justin, it was unacceptable. I love it. But back to Monique. This story Story is not something I can truly talk about. Um, I can talk about it all day, honestly, because I feel like that Monique was right what she was saying. And I believe her. I believe Oprah is full of shit. Oprah should have responded to her and said, you know what, let's figure this out. Tyler Perry talking to um, Monique and saying, oh, well, you know what, I didn't call for all this. This is someone, a career that has been affected for the last years because y'all have been saying that she's difficult to work with and we know that shit to be untrue. So where did it come from? And why did y'all not clean this shit up? Y'all let this black woman fail, not because she's not talented, not because she did something disrespectful, not because she allegedly sexually assaulted to somebody, not because she said something homophobic and we get folks passes, and not because she over here fucking up group members and shit they signed to their labels like PD their ass. Monique didn't do shit. The fact that we didn't value her as a person was the reason why she was so easily dismissed, discredited, and thrown away. We didn't want to hear that shit. And we have got to fix that shit. I'm telling y'all, listen to these women. Listen to these women. Listen to the one that they were when they're speaking because we're silencing their voices and I cannot fucking stand it because this shit could have been thrown away. So our foots need to be on Oprah neck. It needs to be on Tyler Perry neck and it needs to be on Lee Daniels black and white neck because that's the only necks he got in it damn way. Lee Daniels, your ass is full of shit. I'm so glad somebody called you out. I hope this shit shakes your brand up. I hope it does because you know you full of shit. I knew your ass was full of shit when you said that, oh, we need to have a, a minority. We need to have a white woman um, trying to make it in the music industry because that's a, that's a story that needs to be told when it came to star. Which is why I don't watch this shit. I don't watch Empire either. I know the reason why it took uh, what's his name Jamal so long to have a black boyfriend or date a black person. Y'all better hear me. A lot of these folks that y'all talking about and doing certain shit so happen to be married or partnered with someone who is non-black. If you don't see these coincidences, girl, I cannot help you in this fight for black liberation. I cannot. You're going to have to look and understand, girl, and listen to understand, not listen to respond. I'm trying to tell you. I ain't going to tell you nothing wrong. And if I do tell you something wrong, girl, we're going to talk about what the fuck I said that was wrong. And we're going to get to the tea on the podcast and everything else that I'm working on. Make sure you stay tuned. So, I hate that this had to happen. I'm, I'm, I'm now looking at Monique with even a better eye because Monique had this ammo 
Um, for a while now, she never did release it. Tyler Perry called her and reached out and kind of rushed her off the phone after, you know, he wasn't really saying she he was just going, I'm going to throw her a couple hundred thousand. And they said, girl, we're not interested in this. We need our credibility. I'm not interested in you throwing four hundred thousand dollars at us or whatever. You need to say that shit. Tyler Perry knows there is some strong shit and there's nothing that he can come back on to sit up here and say some shit against Oprah and Lee Daniels. Why y'all think these people are in power positions? It's hard for somebody to come at them and say some stuff because it's just like they don't do any wrong. They look, look, they have got to do right because look at them, they're rich. A lot of these folks are rich because they have put their foot on somebody's neck and stood up and made money. That's how capitalism works, girl. I think a lot of us seem to think that if we put out good shit and we do shit, we become rich. That's not how this shit works. White folks are out here enslaving folks and stealing land and they ass is rich. So what the fuck does that mean? Absolutely not a goddamn thing. That's all I got. Honey, we'll talk about this more in depth. If we want to keep talking about it, let me know. Make sure y'all go to kingofreach.com. I love y'all. I love y'all. I promise. I'm sounding like Monique ass. I love y'all. appreciate y'all even listening to me and rocking with my fat black ass. And I'll talk y'all later on tonight. Bye. Hungo, you don't smell this food. Bitch, you must already ate. Come on now. Girl, do you want some of this food? Okay, bitch, let me go because I don't have to feed you because you must already ate. Let me go. Go. Do you want some on? Girl, do you want some of that? Okay, wait a minute, bitch. You go give me give my shit. Eating all my motherfucking shit. I paid twenty dollars for this motherfucking shit. You do bye. You being you being hoggish. Save room for the other girls.